Hey guys, don't mind my hair. I just took it down out of a ponytail because I thought it looked better than, um, than being up. I'll put it back in a ponytail because I'm working at the cake shop today. So, there we go. Um, I, I'm on my iPhone, my new iPhone 6S today. So, we're killing two birds with one stone by testing out the video today. Because I left my camera at home. The battery was on charge last night. Camera's right next to the battery, plugged in. And I just totally forgot about it. So, but I wanted to tell you guys about my little iPhone scare. Because <laughs> um, last night, because I just got my phone yesterday. And last night, I plugged it into my computer because I wanted to put my music on it. And then all of a sudden, like I'm, I'm on YouTube, Twitter, you know, looking at whatever. Cause I'm sure, I was like, surely it's gonna do it all, everything that it needs to by itself or whatever, right? <laughs> so my eyes kind of red. That's nice. Hmm. It's my contact. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, um, so I thought it would do it on its own, like it usually does. There will be no issues, you know, just trusting technology. I've learned that you don't need to trust technology all the time. So after I looked down at my phone after a while, I looked down and it says, Hola, hello, you know, all that, all that stuff when you're like setting it up after you update it, which I really wasn't wanting to update it because the lady at AT&T said, don't update your phone yet. So I didn't want to and it, it just automatically did it even though I didn't set it up for automatic update. So I went through all that, set up the Wi-Fi or whatever, and then it goes to this uh, slide to upgrade screen. And it was just a bright white screen with the lock, like with the slide thing saying slide to upgrade. And when I tried to slide, slide it to upgrade it like it was saying to, it, it wouldn't do nothing. So I had to, I tried to force restart it by hitting the lock button and the home button, and that didn't work. It kept doing the same thing. So I looked up on Apple's website. They told me what to do, and I, I did it, sort of, kind of, um, and then it worked. And I was like, thank you, Jesus, because I was freaking out, and I was getting mad. <laughs> But, anyways, it's fixed, so yay. But, all of my contacts that the lady at AT&T put on my phone yesterday, um, I had the names yesterday, but because I backed it up with my old phone on my iTunes, that was on my iTunes account, it, I, I don't have no names now. But I think I'm just going to use my old phone and go through my contacts that way and just put them in that way. I really don't want to go to AT&T again. But anyways, that's my little iPhone scare. So guys, if that ever happens to you where your phone is froze the day that you get it and you're freaking out because you just wanted to put your music on your phone, go to apple.com or Apple support or whatever. Just, just Google it and then you'll figure it out. Because that's what happened to me and I'm so happy for Google. Thank you. Thank you Google and Apple and that blog that I read, I don't remember what website you were, but you led me to Apple. So thank you so much for all the help. Really appreciate it. Update. I thought I had all of my contacts, but I don't. I don't have any contacts. The only thing that I have is my log from missed calls and calls and all that. And then text messages. That's all I've got. So it's a good thing I still have my old phone. <laughs> Thanks, Apple kind of annoyed right now oh well it's okay you know it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a great day great day